Hey guys, I'm Lucas. Welcome to Kanus episode 26 featuring the upcoming Soyuz launch. Soyuz is the most popular Russian rocket and the only launch vehicle which currently carries astronauts to the International Space Station. The core stage is surrounded by liquid-fueled strap-on boosters and on top sits the second stage which brings the payload to a low Earth orbit. Since it is a crewed mission, the Soyuz TMA-M spacecraft will be used. TA stands for Human Transportation, where the A originates from Anthropology, which is the science of the human body. The first M indicates a modified and the second a modernized version of the craft. The Soyuz TMEM consists of three parts. Up front is the orbital module, where the astronauts can relax a little while heading to the station. It also has a toilet, but I personally doubt someone is allowed to use it for a bigger business, but who knows. The launch is scheduled for December 15, 11.03 am UTC and will take place in Baikonur, Kazakhstan. The spectacular booster separation is followed by the second stage ignition. After just a few minutes, Soyuz TMAM will be in orbit and go for a fast approach. Unlike cargo, which can spend a few days in space without a problem, crewed missions hurry mainly because of the earlier mentioned businesses. However, the fast approach is not guaranteed and it happened quite often that the Soyuz has to do some extra orbits to catch up with the station again. The crew includes Yuri Malenchenko for the Russian, Timothy Peake for the European and Timothy Copra for the US Space Agency. All three join the expeditions 46 and 47 on the ISS and will have a stay aboard until September 2016. However, before new crew comes up, others have to leave. And this happened just a few days ago when the 17th Soyuz Tman departed, re-entered and landed successfully in Kazakhstan on December 11th. Soyuz will now head for their previously occupied docking port at the Svesta module and hopefully arrive there safe and sound. Lastly, some honorable mentions for this week because there are plenty more launches on schedule. On December 16th, the Indian Polar Synchronous Launch Vehicle will carry six satellites to low Earth orbit for research and Earth observation. Another Soyuz will launch on December 17th with two Galileo satellites from Peru French Guiana. I actually have a video about the previous satellites which were launched for the same constellation. I will link you here and in the description. China also launches again but this time a Long March 2D from Jiuqian which is in northern China on December 18th. The payload will be the space telescope called the Dark Matter Particle Explorer or DEMPI for short and it will be placed in a low sun synchronous orbit. As the name suggests, the satellite will try to catch dark matter which, according to many astrophysicists, must be spread all over the universe. It is needed to explain why there is much more gravitational pull in our galaxy than there should be from the visible stars. This is really weird and freaks some people out. If dark matter is really the reason, there must be much more of it than visible matter. However, this can of course also have different causes we have yet no idea of, but all this research helps to solve the puzzle and I'm glad China has also added. It's not 100% sure yet, but SpaceX might also launch this week and I will cover this in a separate video. Okay, that was KNews episode 26 and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.